Corporate governance helps identify the distribution of rights and responsibilities among different stakeholders in any corporation. Welcome to another edition of the Nigeria Investor. Last week, we talked about beyond the routine AGNs, recalibrating the nexus between directors and minority shareholders. Today, we want to talk about the Corporate Governance Rating System, recently launched by NSC. The Oscar Oyema led management of the Nigeria Stock Exchange in partnership with Convention for Business Integrity, CBI, on 3 November 2014, officially launched the Corporate Governance Rating System, CGRS, which is premeditated to rate firms listed on the exchange on their corporate governance and anti-corruption culture. The collapse of firms like Enron, WorldCom, and other big corporations in the early 2000s has brought corporate governance discourse to the forefront in recent time, as good corporate governance is expected to help improve investors' perception and confidence in the market, improve companies' performance, and the economy at large. Thus, it is expected to culminate into improving the overall perception and trust in Nigeria's capital market, as well as business practices. Naturally, companies should take responsibility for their corporate governance activities, but regulators are now taking the issue more serious, as it is believed that it will help increase investment flows from market stakeholders, making capital raising less stressful and ensure a transparent market. The Nigerian Stock Exchange, in its effort, have tried to support good corporate governance through rules and regulation backed by laws, accountability, the introduction of IFRS reporting standard, street disclosure, market monitoring and enforcement, and now the launch of a corporate governance rating system. The rating system is meant to evaluate companies based on the following qualities corporate integrity, corporate compliance, understanding of fiduciary responsibility by their directors, and corporate reputation. Developing this rating system, we've partnered with the Convention on Business Integrity. Uh, we announced in January to our quoted companies in an event, uh, and we've been priming our quoted companies for today. Uh, we've created a framework uh, around this corporate governance uh, uh, rating system, which we developed in-house with the Convention on Business Integrity and with uh, independent uh, external parties providing external assurance, the Humboldt Vidriana School of Corporate Governance from Berlin. We created a corporate governance, uh, a corporate structure, a governance structure to implement uh, this program. And we set up a pilot program, had an open call for corporates. A number of companies volunteered and participated in the pilot uh, program. The following are the upcoming agents in the market. That communication PSE on the 20th of November 2014 and Unity Bank PSE on the 12th of November 2014. The following companies have declared corporate actions. Nestu Nigeria PSE has declared 10 Naira interim dividend with closure date set for 7 November 2014. UPDC rate PSE has declared 56 Cobo interim dividend with closure date set for 21st of November 2014. And total PSE has recommended 200 Cobo interim dividend with closure date set for 1 to 5 December 2014. On announcement in the market, Mansard apologizes for slight error in its newly released Q3 2014 result. Manchard Insurance PSC has notified the exchange that its September 2014 management account submitted to the exchange on 31st of October 2014 contains slight error in the earnings per share figure. The earlier information filed has the earnings per share figure as 6 cover per share instead of 10 cover per share. Mansard also stated that the cash flow statement at the ending of June 30, 2014 instead of September 30, 2014. The company has therefore requested that the information be replaced with the correct version of the account. This has been implemented this morning. Massad Insurance Plessy regret any inconvenience this may cause its investors and other stakeholders. On people and changes in board, Law Union appoint Akinjide Urimolade as managing director stroke CEO. Law Union and Rank Insurance PSC has notified the Nigerian Stock Exchange of the appointment of Mr. Akinjide Urimolade as his new managing director and chief executive officer. Kavati appoints Titi Lola Adegun as Deputy Chief Financial Officer. Kavati Offshore Support Group PSC has notified the exchange of the appointment of Mrs. Titi Lola Adegun as Deputy Chief Financial Officer of the firm. Her appointment takes effect from Monday, 13 October 2014. Ashaka Cement appoints Bruno Bayat as Chief Finance Officer. 
This is to inform the Nigeria Stock Exchange that the Chief Financial Officer of Ashaka Simeon PSC, Mr. Yusuf Lawani, has resigned his appointment on 4 September 2014, and Mr. Bruno Bayet has been appointed by the board as his replacement with effect for 23rd October 2014. NSC concludes on remittance of VAT collected on CSCS and NSC charges. Please be informed that in line with the recent federal government pronouncement on VAT on certain transactions, brokers shall no longer charge VAT on brokerage commission for purchase and sales of stocks effective 29th October 2014. Consequently, VAT collected on brokerage commission between October 1st and 20th shall be refunded to a customer who had done transaction within this period. Similarly, NSC has concluded that all VAT collected on CSCS and NSC charges that are yet to be remitted to the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, from October 1, 2014 to October 27, 2014, shall be refunded to clients promptly by CSCS via their stock broker. Seven other bottling company PSC to join high price stocks. Nigeria Stock Exchange, as part of its commitment to improve liquidity and deepen the market, announced that a new stock will be joining the League of High Price Stocks. The stock announced its seven other bottling company PSC. The exchange head of Market Surveillance, Mr. Abim Bolababala, stated that the analysis of the trading activity of 7UP indicated that in the last six months the company has met the criteria set by the exchange and thus has been included among the high price stocks. That's all we have for you on this edition of the Nigeria Investor. I remain your regular anchor until I come your way again next week. Bye for now.